how are you guys doing? Uh, we are back. So, I'm going to do this part really quick. I'm not going to, I don't think this is going to be a whole part. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. <laughs> um, because currently it is 5.57 a.m. And um, I always pick up my boyfriend from work because he doesn't drive and we only have one car. So, not sure that it would matter. I should see what Rose wants me to do. Hey, James. Uh, yeah, I'll go help. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Illiterate. Salvage it. <laughs> Not sure how I'm feeling about like the smooth jazz, but okay. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Yeah. Hey oh. there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Yeah, uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. So, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. <laughs> I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh. Right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. So... You putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. <laughs> yes, Chloe? So, am oh, I fuck, crushing I... it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. <laughs> crushing <laughs> it. <laughs> I can't believe I fucking... <sighs> no skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Yeah. 
<laughs> the bardest bitch. It's off to the table with you. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Yeah, probably. That's a nice table. C2, I just fuck step douche. <laughs> Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. Now I know people who never realized a... that getting drunk could be so complicated. I wonder if this is a family heirloom. Oh, probably. Oh, I've got a recorder, or, um, not a recorder. A <sighs> thing I can't. Yes, Chloe? What's next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. That's a really neat, like, little statue. I like that. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So... You're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. He doesn't talk about What do lot. you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One... Two, three, sherry. <laughs> Comical. Chloe, He's... maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Um... Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. 
I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks? They say all news is local, but damn. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday? That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back, but... Man. I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. I always hate families who have all their stuff decorated like this. It's just so fake. Yes, Chloe? Sherry. The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. <sighs> Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. And that middle one is for brandy, I guess. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I- I think. Time to- Light some candles, and finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Count Dracula. Well, good. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... 
What's it called? Vocabulary. <laughs> what about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. If you ask me, gratitude is just one more way privileged people tell the unprivileged that they should be happy with what they have. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. My dad was super responsible. He always drove under the speed limit. Then one day, a truck came along and turned him into a super responsible pancake. See? This is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us with some of your hard-earned wisdom about the world. Sure. I believe that we should look closely at everyone, especially the people in power, to see what secrets they're hiding. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. Chloe is an excellent articulator. Excuse me, dear? But if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. James! That's unfair, and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? That's crazy. Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she is willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? <laughs> Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday. 
at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. No offense, Mr. Amber, but I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Shadows settle on the place that you left Our minds are troubled by the emptiness Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time From the perfect start to the finish line And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky one Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs Setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went wrong of us are bitter over someone setting fire to our insides for fun to distract our hearts from ever missing love but I'm forever missing interesting part. Thank you guys so much for this. Um, I will be uploading probably more tonight. Um, it's, yeah, 
yeah, I guess I will be uploading more tonight. Thank you guys so much for everything. Uh, hit that like button. Tell some friends about me. That'd be great. I will get up as many parts as I can here pretty soon. I mostly am starting to update whenever my boyfriend's at work because that's when I have the most time and I usually get everything done at night anyways. So thank you guys so much. Um, please have a good rest of your day. Stay safe and leave a comment, leave a like, say hi. Hi guys. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And this has been Dalmasaur. Peace.